Hello everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Give It to the World. It sounds like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down the intro and verse one. We're playing in the key of E flat. And we're starting the intro playing this. Okay, so first I'm playing an arpeggio of E flat major seven with E flat, B flat, and D on my left. And then I'm going to start this pattern of playing twice a chord and then a note in between. So twice a chord, a note in between, twice a chord, a note in between. Okay? So we have this. So the first chord I'm playing is E flat major 7, playing. E flat and D on my left with G and D right hand, right after the arpeggio. So, okay, so one, two, three, and the note in between will be this B flat on my left. One, two, three, four. Okay, next up, I'm going to change the tap note from the chord I played before from D to B flat. Okay, and then I'm going to change it again and only play G on my right hand. So we have this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So every time I played twice a chord, I'm playing this B flat in between. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So after playing the last B flat, I'm going to play this on my right hand. So F, G, and then A flat. And playing A flat, I'm going to arpeggiate E flat seven on my left. Down here with E flat, B flat, and D flat. And then first beat of the next measure, I'm going to play A flat major seven. A flat on the left, G and C right hand. And right before playing that, I'm going to play this on my right hand, A flat, D flat. So the A flat is on the first beat. Here it is again. So we're on A flat measure seven, and after that we're playing this. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One E and a two, three, four. So again, I'm using this pattern of twice a chord and then one note in between. So I have A flat measure seven, first beat. Then I'm going to play this. So basically I'm playing A flat major 7, but without the root note. Okay, so only G on my left with C and G right hand. So one, two, three, the note in between will be E flat on the left. The next chord is this A flat major 9 at 13. So I'm playing A flat and G 
on my left with B flat and F right hand. So one, two, three, four. One E and a two. Okay, after that, I'm going to play this. So A flat major seven, add 13 with A flat G, C and F on the R of the first beat. I'm going to play this chord and sustain it. So one, two, three, four. One E and a two, three, th sorry, three, four. Okay, so after playing that A flat major 7 at 13, I'm going to arpeggiate my chord starting from E flat. So E flat G C F. And then I'm going to sustain F with my pinky and my right hand and complete to play D flat 7. That's A flat D flat F on the left with B and the sustained F on my right hand. Again, one, two, three, four. One E and the two, three, four. And that's the intro. Let's replay it slow tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we have verse one. We're playing this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So basically, I'm going to play over E flat and also over A flat. So we're starting with E flat playing this on the first beat. So one E flat on the left down here with G and B flat right hand. Then we have again this pattern of playing twice a chord and then one note in between. So one, two, three, four. So the note in between will be E flat. So I'm playing octave E flat on my left. And the chord, the first chord is E flat major 7 with octave E flat on the left, G and D right hand. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to change the notes on my right hand, still playing octave E flat on my left, and right hand plays G, B flat, F. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So after that, I'm replaying the same pattern, so twice a chord, with the same chord, G, B flat, F, right hand. And then I'm going to page eight to play an arpeggio of E flat, sorry, B flat, E flat on the left, and then G, D, right hand. Then I'm going to play E flat six, that's octave E flat on the left with G and C right hand. And then right after that, I'm playing A flat major seven. So once again from the top, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So we're back on A flat major seven, first beat of the measure with A flat G on the left and one C on the right hand. Okay, then we have this, one, 
So after playing the first A flat, I'm going to play twice a chord with A flat major seven, playing now C and G on the right hand. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's A flat major seven, and the note in between is E flat on the left. Then I'm going to switch the tap note here from G down to F. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing twice A flat G C F. One, two, three, four. One, two. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next measure. So one, two, three. Four. And after that, I'm going to follow with this arpeggio. That's A flat followed by E flat, G, C, F. Okay, so playing F on top, I have A flat, E flat, F on the left, and also B. So that's A flat, E flat, F, B, F. And I'm playing here A flat minus six. Right after playing that, I'm going to replay E flat on my left. So once again from A flat major. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's continue in the verse. We're now going to play over C minor. Goes like this: three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So again, we're going to start with an arpeggio. I'm going to play C followed by G and then E flat, and after that. I'm going to switch to my right hand and play F with D, and then D with B flat. One, two. One, two. And then on the third beat, the note in between will be this E flat on my left, and the chord that I'm going to play is this. I have C, E flat on my left, with G, B flat and F on my right hand. If you cannot play this on your left, you can simply use octave C, like this. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So as you can see, I played the same pattern, playing one note in between. So this E flat starting on the third beat, one, two, three, and then twice a chord, note in between, twice a chord, followed by this. So that's one E flat on my right hand going to E flat major seven, octave E flat on the left with G and D right hand. Then I'm going to continue my melody line with C, B flat, and then F. And then directly after that, I'm landing on A flat major seven with A flat on my left and one G on my right hand. One more time for C minor, three, Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. 
Okay, so we're on the first beat and we're playing A flat major 7. Okay, I'm using both hands here, but then I'm only going to use the lift. Playing this. Three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. So that's A flat and G, left and right, played on beat one. And then I'm going to remove my right hand and use my left only and play E flat G back to E flat and then I'm going to replay E flat. So one, two, three, okay. And then following that, I'm going to play twice A flat, E flat with F. And then E flat alone and then twice A flat E flat and G like this one two three four one two and then I'm going to finish first one playing this I'm going to play over D flat major nine with the ninth on my left So simply arpeggiate with D flat, A flat, and E flat on your left, like this, and then F, C, F on your right hand. And before going to the next chord, play one quick E flat on your left. And then you have E flat, first beat of the measure, to play the pre covers. So D flat and then E flat. Once again from A flat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. Perfect. Let's replay the entire verse slow tempo before the recap. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, let's recap. That's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.